Yo, yo, YouTube, what's crack? I like a jack smack in this wall, man. If you do excuse me for my voice, I'm a little bit sick, but 2K19 is out. We have the full screen. We can see the caps now that we have the full game. And I already made my lockdown the front end. You're going to see which build it is. But I wanted to show you guys the 6'8 to 6'10 lockdown defenders and their caps. Basically the same build each time. Default, uh, default weight max wingspan the only difference is going to be the height and you're going to see the difference between each of these builds and i'm going to explain to you that the lockdown defender these stats are kind of cheese man so this is a pure lockdown defender right here obviously uh i played a lot last night if you saw my stream got a lot to explain uh but six seven uh six eight is actually the new six seven height so uh yeah we're gonna make up six eight of course that's the new 6'7. If you're gonna make your lockdown defender this year, make him at least 6'8. And uh wait. I kept the weight default, man. And by the way, every time you come to one of these screens, you can change the weight, bring it all the way down, and then check the caps again. So for a low weight 6'8, your steel is 98, block 92, speed is an 86. Lateral quickness is a 97. When you put this shit back to where it was, which was 222 pounds, which by the way, this is my build right here, 222 pounds. Lateral quickness goes back to a 92, so you lose 5 points. Your speed is still at 86 though. So you have 92 lateral quickness, which by the way is phenomenal. And you have 86 speed, which for 6'8", that's great! And you still got an 84 strength, so... This build right here, this Lockdown Defender is actually uh, kind of better in my opinion than 2K18's Lockdown Defender. Except the offense this year, uh, the offensive year is kind of spooky. But, if we continue this path and we get all the way to wingspan, you're going to see a change as well. Between the default wingspan, minimum wingspan, and maximum wingspan. So you can do this yourself. Don't be just looking at YouTube videos because it's all right here for you. To do by yourself every time you come to these screens press triangle to view the caps you change the build you put mix wingspan minimum you're gonna see the three point shot uh open is 70 70 but your steel is only a 93 now and your shot contest goes down to a 84 so even though you have a better three ball like what's you're gonna lose shot contest now, if you maximize your wingspan, which this is my build. This is my complete build right here. After I'm going to press triangle. Open shot 3 is only a 64 compared to the 70. But, uh, steel is a 99. <coughs> steel is a 99. Block is a 97. And shot contest is a 99. You still have a vertical of 91, which is insane. Lateral quickness is still 92, which is insane. Speed is 86 and strength is still 84. So, in my opinion, when I saw this build, I was like, holy shit. This build is a beast, bro. But this is the build I made last night. Now, you could make a 6'9 lockdown as well and see the caps for that. By the way, I hate the way that this screen moves so slow. Like, when you're making these builds and you try to see these caps. Like, that's that's the only the problem I have with 2K19's uh, building screen. Is that these screens go so slow. But... The weight for a 6'9 lockdown, it's only 3 pounds heavier than a, a freaking, uh, you know, 6'8 lockdown. Now, you could, some people saying, like, you know, increase the weight a little bit, you know, see what happens if you increase the weight. Uh, obviously, you're going to be losing speed, obviously, you see. But the thing is, your speed, look at this shit, right? This is so stupid to me. Because, look, look, you increase the weight all the way, and your speed is an 84. Now, your lateral quickness is an 86, which is still actually pretty good. But your strength goes to a 95 if you max out the weight. So you get contact dunk, you get strength, you get box out. So if you see box out, uh, where's box out at? Is an 82, which is a small improvement, you know what I'm saying? Uh, contact dunk is a 79, which is actually pretty good. It's like almost like a slashing ability. Uh, but if you actually keep it to where it was before, which was 225, you're actually contact dunk is only a 71. And then box outs are 80, which is only one less, which is not bad. 
uh but your speed is still at 84 so you see all this shit right here speed doesn't uh, apparently get affected by none of this shit i mean lateral quickness of course is a 90 right now so if you max the weight out uh with this build it goes from a 90 to an 86 so you lose four points which it could be a big deal but i'm pretty sure some of you might be like i want the strength as well which is it's understandable the only the only advantage i see with this build is having much more strength which if you're a bigger lockdown if you're a power forward lockdown it wouldn't make sense because you still have speed uh but we're gonna go off the regular uh weight of course continue that and uh the wingspan should already be maxed out already and we're gonna check out this build real quick because yeah the mix the, the wingspan is already already maxed out on this build so this is a 6-9 uh lockdown defender as you can see here driving dunk 79 uh open shot three is a 63 like listen the shooting is tough in this game like it, it it really is tough but again 99 steel 99 shot contest 90 lateral quickness and 84 speed the only reason i don't make my builds a little bit taller is because i want faster speed and 6 8 to me i'm like i feel like i'm fine at that height like th that's a good height to me but uh yeah man 90 lot of quickness 84 speed like each one of these builds like 6 7 to oh well 6 8 to 6 10 it's really crazy man like it's it's insane uh but 6 10 the 6 10 lockdown defender is also looking like a pretty good build now this is for small forward so you're going to be lowering the shooting guards attributes and the power for its attributes if you play perm so this lockdown starts at 230 uh of course the max wingspan like i said is already there and a lot of people actually want to make a 610 lockdown which i understand why because if you look at the attributes it's like well god damn you can have this height but your shot contested three well actually now the, the wingspan is not maxed out yet uh but your open shot three goes down a little bit uh obviously you see the rebounding is the same for each lockdown's position only difference is the vertical so that's it's crazy but your lateral kiddies is already at 88 still pretty high uh speed goes to 81 which is actually still good for 610 i mean god damn but strength is at 84 which is normal so all these lockdown builds any one of them you make they have good attributes they have good stats uh but you guys must want to know, like, how is the defense this year? Because you guys know, I made my Lockdown Defender build already. And uh, I already know what I even made. So this is where we're at in the neighborhood. You guys see my character right here. I'm kind of looking a little bit goofy, but it's my character, man. Worry about your own character. But you see, I'm at 85 right now. I did play a lot last night, uh, if you saw my stream. And every time you reach 100% with the My Points Cap Breaker, you get more attributes so the first time i actually passed this attribute cap i got four attributes and it was basically your main your skills steals i got steals blocks vertical and lateral quickness so look at this right my steals already at 95 shot contest already at 95 block 93 verticals at an 86 already and lateral quickness is at 88 so don't worry about reaching your max caps because you're gonna get pretty close in the beginning since all these go max out you're gonna get pretty close in the beginning with all the your, your main categories but i will make a notice and let you guys know that this loud wall quickness right here is higher than the one i had in nba 2k18 with my 67 lockdown and i was a low weight lockdown so i'm already almost where i'm at basically with my lockdown defender last year except i have higher lateral quickness already so this build is it's of course it's missing speeds only a 79 speed so far but this build is already pretty dominant on, on defense but i will say that the lockdown defender will be getting it's going to take some getting used to man because your mid range is not that good open shot mid is a 54 and that shit misses man like the shooting is not easy like it's it definitely takes some skill to shoot in this game I don't think I've made a single mid-range shot with my Lockdown Defender yet. Uh, but remember from last night's stream, if you see me shooting, then I didn't have the upgrades yet because I was stuck at a 75 overall and I could have upgraded my mid-range. Uh, but basically, 
if you make a lockdown defender, man, you got to be careful, man. You got to be careful because the shooting is definitely tough. I definitely recommend if you're playing a lockdown defender, you need to have some other players on the team who can score. Like, you definitely need to have multiple players who can score because while a lockdown defender could be very difficult to score this year, man. It's not like 2K18. You're not going to be hitting those mid-range shots. Even with boost on, it's not going to go in like that. So anyways, man, that's my build so far. Those are the Locked on the Freedom Mints I wanted to show you. I probably might have another video out later tonight, but we'll see about that. Anyways, just wanted to get you guys this quick video. Leave a like for more. I'm out for now.